MC 10A 2017 problem. Number 20. Let s of n equal the sum of the, pod, of the digits of a positive integer n. For example, s of 1507 is equal to 1 plus 5 plus 7 equals 13. For a particular positive integer uh, n, s of n equals 1274. Which of the following could be the value of s of n plus 1? 1, 3, 12, 12, 39, or 1265? All right. Well, let's understand this problem here. First of all, what if A was correct? Let's do this proof by contradiction. If A was correct, then S of n plus 1 would have to be 1 and then a repeating sequence of zeros. Now, that implies that um, n itself must be 9. 9999 nine, 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 as adding one more to that would turn it into this one. All right. So we notice that that means that the sum of these digits must be equal to 1274. We don't know how many they are are. So let's say 9x equals 1274. Now, if A was correct, this would have an integer solution. But does it have an integer solution? Well, 99 times 12 would be 1200 minus 12, which is equal to 1178, I don't know, 1188. And then, let's add one more. Ooh, okay. And now, let's add one more 99, which gives us 1287. So that looks like the nearest multiple because when you subtract 9, what you get is 1278. All right. So this it clearly does not have an integer solution because the nearest multiple of 9 to it is 4 away, not 9 away. So instead, we're going to look at B. So, B implies that n plus 1 may be 3 and then a repeating series of zeros, even though it could also have some other cases that I'm going to write here. 1, 2, and of course, 1, 1, 1. So, Even though there are several cases for these, th this is implied to be 29999. What is this implied to be? 1, 1, and then 0999. This, yeah, this, all minus 1, is. One one nine 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 nine, etc. And this is two one zero is going to be the exact same thing. Well, not the exact same thing, but you got my point. Also, note that this one is one more digit than the others, so that being the zero. So now that means that all of them still sum up to 1 plus two, uh, 1 is 2 plus some unknown number of 9s. 1, 2. And this can be seen is 2 plus 9x. So now that means that 2 plus 9x equals 1274 should have an integer solution. But 9x equals 1272 does not have an integer solution. The closest multiple of 9 to it would be 1269, which is uh, 3 away from it, not 9. So that means B is not an answer. So now we're starting to see a pattern here. Essentially, we have 9x and then plus... 1 minus whatever the number choice is. Why? Well, let's test it out for 12. 
For example, 12 will have 12 and then an unspecified amount of zeros. So I'm going to call that yeah, x. But before that, this would be 11999999, which is also x. And notice how the first few digits will always sum to 1 minus the number we're looking for, uh, or the number in the answer choice. Like, for example, 12, we could also have, uh, for 12, we could also have, hmm, sorry, geez, I'm being stupid. So, for 12, we could also have, oh, sorry, okay. So one one nine 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 nine. So that's one of the possible scenarios. Even though there are a lot more if you rearrange twelve in different ways. But the important thing here is to note that we just have nine x plus one minus the choice. So here it's nine x plus. 11. There it was 9x plus 3 minus 1 is 2. Here we would just 9x because 1 minus 1 is 0. So let's just do this process now because we already know what we got to do. 9x plus 11 equals 1274. 9x equals 1263. And the nearest multiple to that is 1260. So that won't work. Now let's test out D and E. Well, E would be 9x plus 1264 is equal to 1274, meaning 9x equals 10, which would not work. So finally, we would have 9x plus 1238 equals 1274, and this is now becomes when you subtract 9x equals 36, so x equals 4. So that is the answer.